I was recently made aware of a new study that's just been released that showed dietary choline deficiency could have devastating effects on neurologic and system-wide health. The article was urging those on a plant-based diet to supplement with choline. So let's take a look at this study. Now, choline is an essential nutrient produced in small amounts in our liver, but found in foods such as meat, eggs, broccoli and beans. And it's a vital ingredient for human health. But researchers of this study believe that it's a missing piece in the puzzle of Alzheimer's disease. Now, keep in mind the foods I've just mentioned, because it's estimated that more than 90% of Americans, who I assume are not all vegan, are not meeting the recommended daily intake of choline. So I'm not sure why those on a plant-based diet were being singled out. Now, this was an animal study where normal mice were deprived of dietary choline, as well as choline-deficient transgenic mice, who were already exhibiting symptoms associated with Alzheimer's. The researchers found that in both cases, dietary choline deficiency resulted in liver damage, enlargement of the heart, and neurologic alterations in the Alzheimer's disease mice, including increased levels of plaque-forming amyloid beta protein and disease-linked alterations in tau protein. They also found that sufficient choline in the diet reduces levels of the amino acid homocysteine, which has been recognized as a neurotoxin, contributing to neurodegeneration and is important for mediating functions such as learning and memory through the production of acetylcholine. Choline is needed to produce acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter that plays an essential role in memory, muscle control and mood. Choline also builds cell membranes and helps regulate gene expression. They also found that dietary choline deficiency altered important hippocampal networks. The researchers believe that the recommended daily intake of dietary choline for adult women, which is 425 mg a day, and adult men, 550 mg per day, is too low and may not be optimal for proper brain health and cognition. But they said that controlled human clinical trials will be essential for establishing the effectiveness and appropriate dosages of choline. However, this is useful for those of us on a plant-based diet. It reminds us, just like most other people, we need to make sure we're getting enough choline in our diet. Before going out and buying a choline supplement or adding eggs to a plant-based diet, we need to be mindful that in fact studies have shown that consuming too much dietary choline may not be a great idea. This study that was looking at egg consumption found that TMAO, a byproduct of dietary choline, can lead to a greater risk for heart attack, stroke and death. This study linked choline to increased risk of heart disease but found that participants who followed a vegan or vegetarian diet were protected against the harmful effects of choline. Studies have shown that higher levels in the blood were associated with a greater risk of getting prostate cancer. But keeping that first study in mind, here are some of the best plant-based sources of choline. As with everything, balance is key. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.